Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here. Today we're checking out the iPhone 7 in the matte black color and in the silver color. Now this one has a black front, this one has a white front. They're complete opposites. And today we're going to do a quick color comparison telling you the pros and cons of each. That way you don't make a mistake and then decide to want to return it after the return period is over. Now there's a few things that I'm going to repeat that I've said pretty much every year when I compare these two colors and it's that the fronts are different now this one has a black front this one has a white front and that makes a pretty big difference whenever you're playing a game or watching a movie now it doesn't make that much of a difference when you're texting or anything like that but when you're doing the other two things it does make a difference and i'll show you guys right now let me go ahead and open these guys up and let's say we open up the let's go to the web browser all right, so here we are in a web browser and right off the bat, you can see it pretty much there without me showing you up close, but here just pointing it more at an angle so you guys can see it. You can see that black around the screen and many people don't notice this when they're purchasing it. It's just something that you kind of just don't look at. And then when you realize it's there, it starts bugging some people. And that's, that's a big problem. I actually used to have white phones and then when I realized that, and I don't know why from one second to another, I just started realizing that. And it kind of really annoyed me. I just prefer how this just blends in and you can't tell there's a border around it and just kind of gives you more of a seamless experience. But uh, this is mostly kind of geared towards movies and gaming and stuff like that. But just in general, it is kind of an annoying thing for some people and other people, they just won't care. So you can just gloss over that and totally forget anything that I mentioned here if you don't mind that. So we can move on right on to the next thing. And the next thing is all of these sensors and cameras. Those are very noticeable on these white screen phones. You can see the sensors, the cameras all right here. They all look like, you know, like R2D2s, like stormtroopers. And some people actually like that contrast between the black dots and the white screen and then the design of the back of the phone. And then over here, it all totally blends in. You can kind of see the camera there from an angle. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's barely noticeable. You'd never really look at that. It's, uh, it's hidden while on here. It's kind of like a feature of the design. It's, it's meant to be there and it's meant to be noticed, which is, you know, it just depends on the person. We also, of course, have the Touch ID button, which is silver around here. And you can tell that it's from there and it looks kind of nice. It looks like a nice little luxurious ring. And over here, it's barely noticeable. There's nothing there. It's just like a, a black dot. And now let's take a closer look at the phones themselves so you guys can see the actual color comparison here. And you can tell from all the little details here, everything's blacked out on the black iPhone. While on here you have little silver and metallic accents throughout, kind of giving it more contrast. Whoops, did I get a scratch on it? Oh no, we're good. And then of course the antenna lines are also very prominent on the silver phone. They're silver, so they're not white. They're not gonna stand out as much as the um, gold and the rose gold colors. But on the black phone, they're completely gone. You can kind of see them there from certain angles and if you really look for them. But for the most part, they've disappeared and they're no longer there. So it makes the phone maybe even look a little bit smaller than the other one because it doesn't have those lines at the top. With that said, let's bring back the designs from last year so you guys can see the difference. So here we have the silver, we have the space gray. You can tell where the lines were before just in case you have one of these and you're looking to upgrade how they're gonna look differently. Now, this color does seem to be a little bit lighter, the one on the seven, but that also could be from the usage of this one. It could have darkened a little bit from when we first got it. With any case, I think this one still looks a lot cleaner and a lot nicer than the 6S Silver. Yeah, like it looks way more minimal, way nicer. And I would actually consider getting this one more than I considered getting this one when I got the space gray. But this year I'm going with the black right here. And you can see the difference with the black and the space gray. It's just a whole other level. They've completely blacked it out. It looks way more, you know, Batman-esque than uh, last year's. Last year's was kind of just a darker shade of silver. And as I've mentioned before, all I want Apple to do is make a silver phone with a black screen. And that would be great. Just kind of like, as I mentioned in the last video, as an homage to the original iPhone, that'd be great. Maybe we'll get it for the 10th year anniversary of the iPhone, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, the Apple logos are, of course, also matched to the phone. So here we have kind of like a clear glass Apple logo. 
where here it's kind of like a black glass kind of opaque apple logo maybe you know more hidden on the phone so that it's less noticeable and uh, that's pretty much it guys there's really not much to go over a lot of things I've covered in the past years and other things are just you know if you like black more go with black if you like white more go with white now another important thing that I do want to mention is how smudges appear on these phones and on this silver one you're barely gonna get any smudges to show up so if you're a clean freak and you're always cleaning things you definitely want to go with the silver one you can see my fingers I'm just going like this and you can't see anything on the other hand on the black phone on this one and on the glossy one even more you can see all the fingers right there all the smudges and they're over time those are just gonna get crazy and your phone's gonna get very dirty and uh, yeah it just it just really depends on that I'm willing to trade that off for the black screen but if you really hate smudges and stuff definitely go with this one or the rose gold or the gold those are gonna be basically smudge proof and uh, they're gonna look clean basically all the time from time to time they will get a little bit dirty just f with black spots or from friction or from your pockets and stuff like that so you are gonna have to clean it from that which in this case the black one would be better because it's not gonna show any dirt or anything because it's a black phone so that's another pro that's another con so it depends on what you prefer and then the other big thing is also what type of clothes you wear I know a lot of people kind of see this as an odd thing but then there's a lot of people that do make design choices and style choices based on the clothing and uh, devices that they have so if you wear a lot of light clothes maybe you want to contrast that with a black phone or vice versa if you wear a lot of dark clothes you just want to have a dark phone to match your clothing so it all depends on your style on what you want to go with and uh, which one you like more if you guys have any specific questions about these phones feel free to reach out to me in the comments or on twitter at rmrdnl or at dark gadgets and i'll get back to you there as soon as i can to help you out and help you make the right decision before you buy but aside from that guys thanks for watching this video make sure to give it a like if you liked it and subscribe to stay tuned for future videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one goodbye